Welcome back to Superior Sunrise as we move closer to our Labor Day Classic, selling cattle here again today. Well, that time of year when it's Labor Day Classic uh, also means that cows with those calves are coming off pasture. Topic of conversation as it relates to vaccination today with Dr. Bruce Hoffman once again. He's Senior Technical Consultant with Elanco Animal Health. This time of the year, doctor, it means those cows, uh, calves are coming off and uh, looking at vaccination. Talk about that in a broad sense here this morning. Thanks, Mark. It's good to be here and support uh, Superior. Uh, yeah, the big thing is on vaccination with cows, we're preg checking those cows. And so uh, what we want to get done is we want to protect for the virals. And we also want to think about protecting uh, those cows, building up immunity for colostrum for those calves this spring. Mm -hmm. Two big things we need to do at, at preg check. You know, we've talked a lot before, modified live versus those inactivated. Let's, I mean, I think it's always good to kind of retouch on that topic here this morning. Yep. We want to use modif or modified live prior to breeding at least 60 days. And that works well on the heifers, Mark. But on the cows, the best program is Virus Shield. We're protecting up to 13 different antigens uh, in the fall when we give a preg check. Mm -hmm. and so we have safety with that. We're not impacting reproduction. We're not affecting anything on that calf. So we want to definitely um, keep those uh, inactivated products at preg check time annually. And Virus Shield is a great choice. Bet. You know, we talk about those cows calving early in the season here. Maybe just again recovering why that's important. Yeah, I think the Dr. Perry's work out of South Dakota State uh, definitely showed that. If we use virus shield prior to breeding, we definitely didn't impact the conception rate. So cows, cows got pregnant early in the season and a couple things that does is gets us more weight. Obviously an early born calf gets, uh, has more time to put on weight prior to weaning. So that's extra dollars. Um, and then also on a heifer, uh, we'll get more calves. If we calve that animal in early in the season, she has a better chance of getting pregnant as a three-year-old, staying in the herd and producing more pounds of calf in her lifetime as a producing cow. Very it's good. all about economics, Mark. Yeah, absolutely. And with that, where can our viewers learn more about all the great products here at Elanco, doctor? You know, they can go to elanco.us. And for learning about Virus Shield and Scourboss, Scourboss has a great deal of being able to be used uh, four months before calving, Mark. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. Use that in, at preg check here this fall. Very good. Always great to check in with you all year long, but here at Labor Day again, and with those cows and calves coming off pasture, we appreciate your time this morning, doctor. Have a good day. Thanks, Mark. Always good to be here. Absolutely. Dr. Bruce Hoffman, Senior Technical Consultant with Elanco Animal Health. Great friends, as he mentioned, to Superior Livestock. We're going to sell some cattle. Labor Day Classic is getting closer. More with Beth and Superior Sunrise, though, coming up first after this.